150 years ago, Faraday discovered that moving a piece of wire through a magnetic field produced a voltage. If the wire is stationary, nothing happens. Move the wire from one pole to the other and again nothing happens. Only when the wire moves up and down is a voltage produced. It's all to do with cutting lines of force. The wire needs to cut through the field lines before a voltage is induced. Following a line of the magnetic field has no effect. The results are the same if the magnet moves instead of the wire. A changing magnetic field induces a voltage and an electric current flows. This is known as electromagnetic induction and is the main method used for generating electricity. This generator produces electricity by rotating a coil of wire inside a magnet. It turns mechanical energy into electrical energy. Here, the mechanical energy is provided by the human body. Power stations generate electricity in a similar way. Huge turbines are rotated. These are often powered by steam. Other generators use wind. The electric current produced by a power station varies in direction. This simple piece of apparatus shows how. Here, a magnet rotates around a wire. As the magnet moves around, force lines are broken and the magnetic field changes. In this position, most lines of force are being broken. The induced current is at its highest. As the magnet is rotated, the field changes direction and the current also reverses. The current oscillates, first one way, then the other. It's called alternating current, or AC.